addictive, they were captivating, they were compelling, they were provocative, explosive. Oh my God, they were so intense. <laughs> wonderful people and welcome back to my channel it's Giselle and today we're going to talk about a really interesting series quick question have you subscribed if you haven't what are you waiting for you know press that button down below and subscribe it's all about getting to 1,000 subscribers on this channel and who knows right the sky is the limit this series have been around for a while the first book of this series was published in 2003 you're in 2021 and I'm still talking about this because it's that good, honey. If you want to find out what I'm talking about, stay tuned and keep watching. It is a Breathe series by Laura Lee. Yes, she first published 2003 and the last one was published in 2018. So I'm telling you, this series has been around for a while and it spans 15 years. Tell me what series you know is that long and it's because you know what there are 32 books in this one series i have read 29 out of these 33 books i first discovered this series in 2013 i believe or 2014 ish around there 2013 2014 and after that that was it i was hooked i was actually playing catch up at that point in time so i went back and i read everything from the first book that was published until present day 2013 2014 and from there i continued following and just anticipating and waiting for more series to be published so the braids are basically altered humans right they were altered at the dna phase before conception with predators and these predators are like wolves and lions jaguars cougars coyotes snow cats they were altered with these animals and it just made them really strong made them really fast they were created and they were not born they were trained they were never raised like human beings or like they were tortured and they were experimented on the group that created um the breed is known as the genetic council and these are basically like military individuals, politicians, persons from different governments. You had scientists involved, but you know what? It went beyond scientific discovery. It went to a point where they were tortured, they were mutilated, they were killed. Scientists performed inhumane, unthinkable things to the breed. This genetic council was operating for over I would say 150 years if I'm not mistaken because I have been following this, this series for a while in the first book Tempting the Beast a news reporter finds out that something fishy is happening and she starts to investigate she goes to this particular small town where she discovers something is definitely wrong with these human beings right they look slightly different but they still look human but she gets more than she bargained for because she becomes attracted to one of the breeds and then you start discovering this whole mating heat this mating frenzy that you basically have no control over your body basically takes over you have no control over it but besides that point so she discovers that these people have been existing or have been hiding for a number of years they escaped from the genetic council but there's so much more there are so many more individuals that are being tortured and are still captive and she persuades Callan to come forth and you know tell his story expose the genetic council and this is how this entire series began people did not know that this was happening for decades and she encouraged Callan to you know speak up and expose themselves because you know what she discovered that she is pregnant and she wanted a better future like she didn't want to be hiding with Callan forever so she needed him to you know stand up and and speak out and expose these people for who they are and this story got me so intrigued if i actually was that character i probably would have done the same thing so Callan did that and it was just the beginning of everything and to me the story just flowed when the news broke 
and the genetic council was exposed there was such an outcry from society you had two segments you had people who are saying hey they're human beings they need to be treated with dignity you know we cannot allow this to continue and then you had the pure blood society stating no they weren't created by god and therefore they shouldn't exist and that we should kill them after these human beings were created experimented on tortured abused you still had people wanting to kill them why they didn't ask to be here the struggles that they went through in those labs man it was it was heart-wrenching like when you hear these individual stories so each book has different couples and it talks about their different experiences however they do flow into each other so you do have like suspense and so on because you want to know what is going to happen you have like uh, different types of breeds so you have like the feline breeds you have the wolf breeds you have the coyote breeds so the feline breed is made up of like the lions the tigers the krugers and then you have the wolf which is made up of the different types of wolf and then you have the coyotes the feline breeds they have their own society that they created and it's a, they came together and they formed their own society because they realized they needed to be together to be stronger right and when the genetic council and the pure blood society realized hey they are forming their own society their own legal system and all of these things they start to hunt them down and kill them and you see how these breeds listen these breeds they are unlike anything i've ever heard of yes it's a paranormal it has like paranormal themes suspense thriller action it have all those elements in this series however like these breeds they were like master manipulators they were trained to infiltrate organizations and bring it down from within they are superior fighters they are assassins they are strategists they are hunters they were created from predators in nature so you know you know like when things start to happen you're going to expect them to have certain abilities and expect them to behave in in a particular way like they are breeds right they are breeds i almost forgot to mention that they are also hybrid breed hybrid breeds are actually stronger than full breeds their senses are off the charts and it's actually harder to detect a hybrid breed so you know the genetics council did not want these full breeds to be with human beings but humans are their mates right they can mate with humans and be able to reproduce with humans it's actually more difficult or almost impossible for breeds to procreate with other breeds like you don't really see it happening it's more breeds with humans as opposed to breeds with breeds i think there are one or two couples like that but mainly within the series it's breeds and humans um you have the wolf they have their own base in colorado and you have the coyotes they have their own base again they have their own systems in place um their own legal systems i should say they have their mating laws they have like they have everything that you could think of and it actually helps to protect them from humans and let me tell you something with the coyote breeds like they are the most distrustful and the most suspicious of all the breeds especially because they were trained as the jailers and executioners for other breeds out of this 29 I have some favorites and I have read these particular books more than once. These books for me was just addictive, they were captivating, they were compelling, they were provocative, explosive. Oh my god, they were so intense. They were so intense. I love and I really enjoyed each one of these books that I'm about to mention. So I enjoyed Tempting the Beast, Dawn's Awakening. Navarro's Promise, oh my god, Soul Deep, Coyote's Mate, Lion's Heat, and then the last one, Crossbreed. Like, I was so, I was anticipating this Crossbreed, this particular book for a while, because you actually see Cassie grow up throughout the entire series. Cassie was introduced in Elizabeth's Wolf, and from then you saw her grow up, 
you saw her you know become a teenager you saw her become the leader in a breed law but you know what whereas the other breeds had one animal DNA or were, were mixed with one animal DNA Cassie Cassie had two so Cassie was mixed with wolf and coyote and like everyone was anticipating who her mate will be it was everything that I expected in that particular book let me tell you guys this series it's really good it's really entertaining for some persons it was more erotica than others but like if you actually continued like reading the series and you understood where the water was going um it wasn't just about you know people just you know meeting and meeting no it was about trying to bring down the genetic council it was trying to establish themselves into society because they knew they would have children one day and they wanted a better life for their children they didn't want their children to be growing up in labs like they did and they had like human mates you saw them evolved from being on the run hiding on the ground coming out letting the world know that something known as breeds exist to where they are in the present like after 18 years because it was a struggle for them so with this particular series it's just yes you have the romance yes you have the eroticas in there but it has action in it it's action packed you have a mystery in it you have lies you have deceit so it have all these things and more it can be classed as a paranormal sci-fi urban fantasy it have like all those themes and elements in it and that combines made an awesome read so let me know have you read any of these books or do you want me to review any one of these particular books in this series like you know mention it down below like you know let's communicate about this because i'm all about series and this is the longest series that i have read the longest like i've read other series that were probably like eight books ten books even like 12 books but i've never read one this long with this many books and i've never read anything like this do you have any favorites of laurel lee's books particularly within the breeds series and if you want me to review any one of these particular books let me know thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment and you know what you can also share my videos like and don't forget to follow me on bookstagram hello book cribs all over you know i'm not on uh, facebook yet but we'll get there shortly stay safe until i post another video Thank you.